it's Virginia Phillips here with the Academy of Entrepreneurial Excellence and I am your entrepreneurial coach. Today I am discussing why profiles matter, especially in social media. I tell new and young entrepreneurs, almost nothing frustrates me more than to reach out to somebody to figure out how I can really connect with them and I get to a profile and it's blank or it's sort of filled in. It's sort of like if I get up off my couch and drive down the street and go to an actual storefront and I get there and the lights are out and the windows look blank. There's nothing that welcomes me into that door. I, as a potential client, I'm not happy. I don't want to continue the relationship. Profiles are your opportunity, your free opportunity to tell the world, I am here. This is what you can expect from me and hang a welcome sign. I want your welcome sign to be giant and make sure whoever comes to your doorstep is willing to open that door and connect with you. You have so much space within social media to tell people who you are, what you're passionate about, how they can connect with you, what benefits they can gather from connecting to you. There is nothing more important in business than relationships. Be the person that stands out from your competition by having the biggest badass welcome sign on your profiles. Make sure whoever stops in there will know how to connect with you, know who you are, and feel comfortable engaging. You know, personally, uh, uh, several months back, I took some extra time and put extra time into my profiles, not knowing if it would ever pay off for me. Let me tell you, I have had more people connect to me out of the blue and some of them eager to give me business referral folks saying you know what we would be great referral partners can we please talk sure i'd really like that conversation but if you don't have that information filled out they are not going to make that call to you people are not going to connect with you whether it is facebook LinkedIn, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and many of the other options that are out there. Fill in your profile information. And the one thing that is the most important on your profile is how they can contact you. There is an influencer I know that he says, there's almost never a point in time that I send out anything that doesn't have my direct email on it. Every post he makes, every chance that he gets to connect with somebody, it has his personal, his personal email on there. Well, of course, the, the one that goes to work and not to his home. He says that does open him up for quite a bit of spam. But he says he would do it over and over and over again because the amount of opportunities that came out of that, that ability for people to have access to him and reach him is phenomenal. New entrepreneurs, for some reason, don't want to put their giant, big, badass welcome sign out there for people to come to them. Somehow, I think, they believe if they've got a really phenomenal website that that is going to be enough. It isn't. We know that social media has power, but it only has power if you are in there telling people that you want to connect with them, that you want to do business with them, that you want them as a client. If you just show up and talk about what happened in your day to day, okay but give people a reason and help them connect with you. I can't tell you how turned off I am 
when I get to a profile, and maybe they do have an email address, but I still don't know one thing about them. I, I, I can connect to them, but now I feel like an idiot connecting to them because I still don't know really what they do. I don't know why I would connect with them. You don't want to be in that boat. You really don't. I need for you to see your profiles as this amazing ability for you to hang this huge billboard out side of your office telling people who you are, why you opened your business, why you want to connect with them, and let them see that from way, way far away. Don't only fill in a couple of slices. We're not going to be interested in that. Give us data so we can connect on one level. You know, f for example, it took me a while to put in the city that I was born and raised in. I was concerned about privacy information. That piece of information led to somebody to connect with me because he thought there might be a possibility that I might want to do business in the city I was born and raised in and that I might still have connections back there. If I didn't have that in my profile, he maybe wouldn't have connected with me. I don't know how to drive this, this advice to you home any better than what I've done on here. I'd like to take out a shoe and give you a nice quick kick to get moving, to make this happen. Tell people who you are and why you're in business because honestly, if you can't do that for us, I don't want to do business with you. I will go to your competitor because your competitor has proven to me that they care enough about me to take the time out of their day and really put up that welcome sign for me. That is where I'm going to show up and that's where I'm going to do business. Even if we connected somewhere else, I will pull up your social media profiles. I really want to know what other people are saying about you. I want to know how active you are in your community. And for me, there's nothing better than social media. And if I go there and it feels cold, if I go there and there isn't that mama welcome for me, I'm likely not to stay. Figure what you need to put in your social media profiles and start putting time every single day into them. Let people see who you are and what you're doing and give them a reason to connect with you. I am Virginia Phillips. I am your entrepreneurial coach encouraging you to fill out your social media profiles. I am always happy to give you guidance on this. Feel free to connect to me at virginia at aoeenow.com or you can just go to aoeenow.com and up in the upper right hand corner, you will see all my social media profiles. You're welcome to connect to me there too. Thank y'all. Bye.